Budweiser partners with Harley Davidson as Dylan Mulvaney damage control continues. Let's dive into the details, shall we? Budweiser has teamed up with Harley Davidson for a macho commercial that includes beer cans emblazoned with the motorcycle maker's logo as company executives try to win back customers following the Dylan Mulvaney debacle. The commercial features a gray-haired male mechanic working on a Harley bike before three men are shown drinking the beer. Speaking over a rock instrumental, a male narrator says the greatest legacies are built with grit and resilience, one detail at a time. Limited edition Budweiser Harley Davidson cans for those who give everything to their craft. This Bud's for you. The masculine tone is in stark contrast to Bud Light's ill-fated partnership with Milvaney 26, which saw the trans influencer receive a can of beer with their face on it to celebrate 365 days of womanhood. Anheuser-Busch, the company which owns Budweiser and Bud Light, has lost $15 billion in value since the tie-up was announced and... Bosses are desperately scrambling to win back customers who've boycotted the beer. Yeah, they're not they're not coming back. <laughs> Budweiser's commercial with Harley Davidson, the first time the two companies have partnered, was released last week alongside the launch of the limited edition cans. Each can features the slogan Kings of Our Craft and the words brewed and built in the U USA. Budweiser said the greatest legacies are built one detail at a time. Here to an American collaboration for the ages. But the launch of Facebook but the launch on Facebook was marred by a flood of comments from people still upset about the Mulvaney deal, suggesting attempts to move past the debacle have been unsuccessful. The backlash led to calls from some for a boycott of all Anheuser-Busch beers. The company's portfolio also includes other major brands like Michelob Ultra and Stella Artours. Shares of the company have fallen sharply amid a major drop in sales of Bud Light in the U.S. Anheuser-Busch has seen its market value plunge $15.7 billion and weekly retail sales of Bud Light have been consistently down by at least 20% since mid-April. Two marketing executives have been placed on leave over the decision to team up with Mulvaney. And as Anheuser-Busch has lost value, competitors have added $3.2 billion in market value to their brands. Molson Coors, which owns Coors Light, has seen an increase of $2.2 billion in market value, around 20%, while Heineken has a spike of $1 billion, an increase of 1.7%. Sales of Bud Light are down more than 23% as of the week ending May 6, according to J.P. Morgan beverage analyst Jared Dinges. He said the bank expects a 12 to 13% percent volume decline over the course of a year in the U.S. We believe there is a subset of American consumers who will not drink a Bud Light for the foreseeable future, the analyst said on Tuesday. He added, shares have underperformed EU beers, peers by 15 percent since the start of April. We believe this is due to the U.S. uncertainty as investor focus has shifted Barely to the potential impact from the Bud Light controversy. This is very interesting. I I obviously don't think this is gonna do anything. Um, I've heard some people say, "Hey, why did Harley Davidson team up with them? What are, what are they thinking?" I'm guessing this was probably in the works before the Mulvaney thing. I think there's like something called Rolling Thunder. I think it's in D.C. and it's this huge biker event. So it just kind of correlates. They probably teamed up to do this before this happened, but you know. Who really knows? But that definitely could be the case. Or maybe Harley Davidson's like, oh, we'll give you a shot. We'll see what happens. But I doubt it. It's, I don't know why you would uh, want to do that at this point. I'm guessing it was, like I'm saying, like a contract or something. They already signed it. So it's just like, oh, dang. Um, I'm curious what our, what Harley Davidson is going to comment about this. I mean, the news just broke the other day. So I don't think they've commented on it yet. But I guess we'll see what happens. Um, but what is your opinion on this story? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily news updates. Hit that notification bell and share this video to help spread the news. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.